Have you ever repeated a word so much that it lost all meaning? In my video yesterday on the buffalo sentence, I had to repeat the word buffalo so many times that it stopped being a word to me and started just being a noise. This phenomenon is so common, there's actually a name for it. It's semantic satiation. The term was coined in a 1962 thesis by Leon James, then known as Leon A. Yakovovich. But the phenomenon itself has been described at least as early as the late 1800s. Understanding the semantic meaning of a word involves the firing of specific neural pathways in your brain. The explanation put forth by James is that by repeatedly firing the same patterns, they can become fatigued and require more energy to activate. This can make it difficult to access the semantic meaning associated with those neural pathways until the brain has a chance to recover. Beyond being just a weird thing you can do to yourself, semantic satiation may have real applications. James has suggested that we could use this desensitizing effect to help treat phobias or speech anxiety, while other researchers have found that by removing the semantics of a word, it can allow language learners to focus on a word's phonetics.